How's it going? It's Chris Quinn, the guitar teacher at AcousticMasterclass.com but right now I'm making this bite-sized blues lesson for you here on YouTube so you can learn how to add some major scale notes into the minor pentatonic and make your blues sound more majory. So I'm going to play the minor pentatonic scale first of all. Uh, here we go in the key of E. Now if you already know that scale, great you're going to get a lot out of this video lesson. Um, if you don't, I suggest subscribing to the channel, having a look around. There are videos on playing the minor pentatonic scale. Um, or even better still, if you really want to get um, to grips with the blues, check out the 14-day free trial by following the link at acousticmasterclass.com. Take the Art of the Blues course or the Blues Lead Mastery course. Uh, there's loads of stuff in there to help guitarists learn to play the blues. But right now, um, let's talk about adding these major notes. I'll play that minor pentatonic scale again. Um, it's in the key of E, so we go three off, three off on the B, two off on the G, two off on the D, two off again, and then finally three off. So that's three off, three off, two off, two off, two off, three off. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you a little lick or a series of notes um, and I'm going to add in one major note at the start um, just so if you learn this then we'll be able to build from there. So the lick goes same as normal, three off, three off, two off, but here we're going to do a hammer on the first fret, one on the G, then two on the D. adding a major third of the E, okay? Okay, um, get that under your fingers and then here's the next bit, this is the, the juicy bit. So instead of playing three off, three off on the top two uh, strings, try playing two off, two off. What you're actually playing there is the second note of the E major scale, so... So, one, two, and you're also playing the sixth. That's the sixth note of the major scale. So we're going two off, two off, and then carry on with the lick like normal. Okay, so instead of... I want you to go... So feel free to pause the video and get that under your fingers. Um, and then now I'm going to talk about what you can do with it. So first of all, let's do the two licks back to back like this. And notice I'm kind of playing out of time. The timing isn't the important bit. In fact, it's nice to be able to play it out of time because that helps with improvising. Notice, I'm kind of, I, I played that second time round, I played, I picked it three times, I think. Just to make it sound a bit more bluesy, you're at liberty to do what you like when you're playing these, these um, patterns. I kind of went back on myself there. Feel free to pause the video, play around, and try and do that yourselves. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try, I'm going to do a hammer on the B string second fret, open top E, hammer on, open top E, second fret of the top E. Let's try the same but third fret. Let's try mixing those up. there as I went three, two, off, and then the same thing that we looked at at the start, two, zero, one. OK, 
Okay, so if you were going to play a blues shuffle, it would work really nicely on a blues shuffle. So imagine we're at the top, so. So feel free to sit there, jam, practice, grab your guitar um, and just noodle around and get those notes comfortable so you can play by ear and jam around. Imagine you're sitting under a tree with a bottle of Jack Daniels or if you're not into Jack Daniels, a bottle of, uh, I don't know, espresso or something like that. Maybe not espresso. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video uh, lesson. As I say, if you do want more and some hands-on tuition, why not become a member at AcousticMasterclass.com by taking out the 14-day, no-risk, free trial, and I'll meet you at one of my live events. There are six per month. Um, there are vaults full of guitar lessons looking at Robert Johnson songs, Clapton solos, classic blues, trad folk, dad gad, open tunings, Americana. There's loads of stuff in there. It's ever-growing. It's a lot of fun, um, and I hope to see you there. If not, you know, subscribe to the channel, and I'll keep seeing you here on YouTube. Feel free to leave a comment, give us a like, it all helps with the algorithm apparently. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. I could play the guitar, but I couldn't play the blues. And then I started Chris Quinn courses. Thank you, Chris Quinn.